Guys. Uh-oh. Guys, let me get everybody in here boo. Yeah, I know. Fractions, fractions are where most people, this is where math became difficult and they couldn't do it anymore. But don't worry. Have no fear. Yeah. Finston is here. We're going to do this. So, so let's take care of this. You know, the, the first one, I'll give you a hint, is easy. The second one is more difficult. But take a minute or two and just write it down, and then we'll, and then we'll talk. So, so let's talk about this first one. Let's talk about this first one. Guys, what do you think? Easy or hard? Easy. Let's, let's, put a big, let's put a big smiley face. Why is it easy? Look, doesn't it look like me? Yeah, look. You know what? This is a smiley face. These guys have the same denominator. Whenever the denominators are the same, you are a happy camper because, well, yeah, same denominator. That's this one right here, right? Because then, what's one third, one eighth plus three eighths? Yeah, four eighths. Oh, oh, reminds me of all the pizza I ate last night. First, I ate one eighth the pie. Then I ate three eighths more because it was so delicious. And then it turned out, oh my God, I ate four eighths. How much is that? Describe that. Reduce it. That's a half. Oh, oh, oh my God, I ate half the pie. That is terrible. No, no wonder I am so fat. Okay, good. That's easy, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Next problem right over here. This guy right over here. Oh my God. Not so good. Yeah. Get, why is it sad? Yeah, different denominators. The size of the slices are not the same. Different denominators. What's up? You can't do that. I wish it could, but it's an excellent suggestion, right? It's a... Nope. 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 You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do step one. We're gonna find the LCM of the denominators. Elizabeth, what are you thinking, girl? 15 and 9. What's the least common multiple of 15 and 9? Ooh, let's talk about those words, right? There's, there's multiple and then there's factors. Which one is bigger? Multiples are bigger. Factors are smaller. So multiples, you've got to find something as least as big but probably bigger than 15 and 9. What's something they both evenly divide into? 45. Yeah. 45. The LCM of these guys is 45. Here's where all those times tables come in, right? 15 times 3 is 45. 9 times 5 is 45. Let's do this. Guys, we're going we're gonna to create some, we're going to create some equivalent fractions. You know what I'm going to do right now, right? Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I mean by creating equivalent fractions. Here was the original, 8 over 15. How could we get this to be something over 45? What would you multiply by? Nah, chill. By 4. By 3. By 3. Take a look, right? I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, go too far. But, yeah, 15 times 3 is 45. So we got to multiply the top by 3. What's 8 times 3? 24. 24 divided by 45 is the same thing as 8 over 15. Let's do the other one. 7 over 9. 7 over 9 equals something over 45. What do you multiply to get to be 45? Very nice. You guys are so smart. So smart. So 7 times 5 is 30. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35, right? Seven, there you go. And now that we have equivalent fractions, it's, this, is a, this is a very happy thing because we can just add or subtract them. That's really the hard part about fractions, finding equivalent fractions that we can just easily take care of. So 24 over 45 plus 35 over 45. How much we got? Whoops. Anybody have a calculator? 59 over 45. And, so, and then finally, right, this last part, if you do have your calculators out, 
we're going to have to simplify. It's not going to be like it was back in the day where you were just guessing at stuff. You can use your calculator to, to simplify real fast. Let me show you. So here's how you simplify, right? 59 divided by 45. See that? Hit the math button. And you see where it says convert to a fraction? Hit enter. And enter again. And it will change the number to be in its lowest form. If it, if it is still the same, this means this is the lowest form and you're done. Do you want to see something else that's kind of crazy? But, but, but I didn't show this to the other class, so this is just for you guys, right? If you do have a calculator like this, watch how useful this is. 8 divided by 15 plus 7 divided by 9. Math, convert to a fraction. So it can be done using a calculator. However, we really, really need to work on our algebra skills. Because believe it or not, these are the easy fraction problems. They just have numbers. In the future, they're going to have letters in, as well. Tatiana, you, this is a great suggestion. These are called mixed numbers because they're both whole numbers and fractions, we need to convert them into something called an improper fraction. Forget about the negative out over here for a second. Tatiana, tell me what to do. How do you convert this mixed number, this thing right here, into an improper fraction? Five times three, and then what do you do with that four on top? You add it. Five times three is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. So this quantity right over here is going to be negative 19 fifths. It's the same thing. Let's do it for the next part. What do you think that one's going to be? Negative 13 fifths. Now, is this a happy place? Happy problem? What? Yeah! This is a happy place. Happy problem. Why is it happy? Yeah, happy problem. Same denominator. Do me a favor. Add or subtract this. Whatever it's asking for. What do you think it is? What's up? Kinda. Yeah, we're going to have to add, but we're going to have to take a negative on in between. Tyrena, is that what you thought it was? Do you agree? Negative 32? Or is it 33? I'll go with 32. Negative 32 fifths. Yep, that's the answer. So next problem, you can see where our work from yesterday is coming in, right? We're adding and subtracting numbers. They could be negative. They could be positive. You've got to be relatively comfortable with that, right? What's 5 eighths plus negative 7 eighths? You know this, man. You know this. Oh, forgot to talk about this. Happy problem or sad problem? Happy. Oh, this is a happy problem. Yeah, because these guys have the same denominator. guys have the same denominator, so let's do this. Let's do this. We got negative 2 eighths. Do you, does that reduce down anymore? Are we, nope. Yeah, man, negative 1 fourth. God, guys, what are, you, what are you thinking? Five, happy face, sad face. Man, this right here. This right here is a very sad thing. Different denominators. Ay, ay, ay. Different denominators. All right, anyways, let's do this. So these guys have different denominators. Let's do it step by step. Now we're going to go fast. Step one, step one, you got 10 and 15, right? Those are the denominators. What's the LCM of 10 and 15? Very nice. 30. We're going to do step two. Step two, we're going to create equivalent fractions. So here it is, right? We got three-tenths. 
three tenths we're going to find goes, we're going to make into something over 30. What are we going to make it into? Yeah, 9 over 30, because we're going to multiply each top by 3, so that we get 9 over 30, right? We've got to do it to the other one also as well. We've got 7 over 15. We want to make that into something over 30. What do you got to multiply each one of these guys both for? Ah, 2. Be careful. That's the trick. Yeah, exactly. 14. And then, step 3. Step three, we're just going to add or subtract them. Whatever it is it was calling for. So we got 9 over 30 minus 14 over 30, negative 5 over 30. And then finally, step five, sorry about that. I'm sorry, step four. Step four, does this reduce down into what? Over? Nope. 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 Six. Good. Very nice. That's it. Ah, it's not that easy forever. We're just going to add one more step in there. We got some mixed numbers. No. We got some mixed numbers. Let's convert them back into improper form. Seven times six is 42. This is going to be 45 over seven minus 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, and then there are two negatives together, so this is really the same thing as me saying 45 over 7 plus 14 over 3, and from there it's going to work just like that other problem that we did. So there was just this one added extra step in the beginning, transferring it from a mixed number into an improper fraction. Let's go back to our work for a time being. So now we got this, we have this thing right here. Step one, what was step one? Very nice. We got seven and three. What's the LCM of seven and three? Very nice. And then we got step two. Step two, we're going to create equivalent fractions. So you got 45 over seven is the same thing as something over 21. What do you multiply each one by? Multiply by three, right? 45 times 3, I think, is 135. And then we got to do the other one. 14 over 3 is going to be the same thing as something over 21. What are we going to multiply by in that case? Very nice. Multiply by 7. This one over here is going to be 98. Then we're going to do step three. What was, I, what was I being asked to do with these guys? Add or subtract them? They're adding them, right? 135 over 21 plus 98 over 21 is the same thing as 133. 233. 233 over 21. Finally, step four. Right, we're going to reduce it down. I wonder if 233 over 21 reduces. All you do is just check your calculator. Whoops. 233 divided by 21. Whoops. Math, convert to a fraction. Nope, stays the same, so that's going to be our final answer.